up guys, Jake with TN Tactical coming with a special, special first shots video today. We're talking about a little bit of a Christmas present I got this year. Hope you had a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas if you're British. We are looking at the Shadow Systems MR920. This was a lovely Christmas gift I got this year. Very excited about it. This is essentially a Glock 19 clone. So this combat model of the MR920 actually has some of the bells and whistles taken off. Comes in at roughly about $649. It still retains a lot of the important features that you need if you want to actually carry this on an everyday basis. So in this video, we're going to actually go over all the specs and we're going to actually tell you why we like this for our everyday carry. Now this coming out of the factory with all the upgrades already set up for you, the reliability should be very consistent. And from what you saw with the intro, it was. Look mm. how nice and oily it came out of the factory. Yeah, it's spirally and fluty. Let's go a little faster. 17 round Glock mag. See if we have issues. That's oh. that Glock perfection right there, baby. Oh. You right? Just like we always do whenever we're looking at all the specs, we're going to start with just the tip and go through all the features that this firearm actually holds so that you know everything that comes in this sweet, sweet little package. Bird! Bird! Wazoo! You know, if you ever want to help support us, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. But in addition to that, you know, you can always do YouTube super thanks. We also got these great affiliate links down below that kind of help support the channel without costing you a single dime. If you're looking to buy something anyways, consider using those so that way we can purchase more ammo to do more reviews like this. And we 100% really do appreciate it. Absolutely. And of course, we are safe, obviously. Starting with just a tip, we actually have a half by 28 thread barrel coming in about roughly about four inches very tactical you got some spiral fluting action there great for heat dissipation as well as just kind of helping that slide function and rack a little bit more efficiently for you they give you a steel guide rod there very nice like that a nice little upgrade normally you get a plastic one from glock you do have your standard rail here with just that one little pick slot there for your lights and lasers and whatever else coffee makers whatever you want to stick on there you do get a trillion <clears throat> front sight there it's actually raised up high for a suppressor height so that means if you have a red dot or a suppressor or something like down there you'll still be able to use your front sight as well as your rear sight very nice very raised nice. irons is always a great go-to as in uh, i believe is this would it be our last video if you have to resort to your iron sights because your red dot gives out or loses accuracy in zero Raised irons is a great way to deal with that. We've got some very nice front slide cut serrations there. One thing I've started doing is using front serrations because when I'm pulling back here, I don't want to pull on that red dot, even though it should hold zero. I'm a little bit hesitant to always be pull on that because eventually you will lose zero no matter how tight you got those screws in there. So having front serrations there, just to actually rack your slide and do a press check, it's very nice. And they've got good proper cuts there to actually make that function happen. We've got stippling right here on each side on the left. We got great stippling there. We've got even stippling on the front of the trigger guard. Very tactical. Ooh. Personally, I don't place a finger there, but if you felt like you need to hold it there, maybe your hand's injured or maybe you just have something going on that you have to grip it like that, you do have some stippling there for that as well. Uh, we got a nice little cut there as well as a cut inwards here on the trigger guard. So if you're wearing gloves or if you've got big hands, you got a little bit extra room there very thinned out very nice i like that moving further back you've got a actually like a sort of like a graduated stepping up little mag release there so down here it's kind of very thin which makes it very nice it doesn't really feel like it gets in the way but then as you get further out here it does step up gradually and it's actually raised up much higher by the end there so very good to actually pop your mags out there as well So you've got the same really aggressive stippling on the front, the sides here, as well as the back. Very nice. They do come with a couple of extra little back strap plates here. You almost can't see it because it blends in very well. You pop out that extra little pin down there and it actually pops out the back strap for you. And you can put a thicker one or a thinner one, depending on your hand size, to make it comfortable for you. They also come with a flared magwell that I've attached here. You'll see there's a little pin that pops out there. 
they actually use to actually put that on there. It's a very nice flare mag well. We found ourselves not having any issues slapping the mags in there. It just fits in nicely. It's a very nice finish. I got to say, it feels very flush, very chef's kiss. Very nice. Mm. I really like that. It's got a weird feeling to it. When I'm pulling that trigger, and this isn't the trigger sim part, but I just want to tell you, well, you notice I missed a couple shots. Yes. We're empty. So I'm pulling, and as I'm pulling, I actually have to pull, and then there's a like a halfway wall. I have to stop and ease into the rest of the pull. And that's when I'm hitting the shots fast. As long as I'm going, like I'm going, whoop, and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. whoop, pop, and then. You've got your trigger safety there. Very nice. Very loosey goosey. Feels pretty loose right there for the first couple of millimeters. Start pulling into it. It starts feeling a little bit spongy, creeping. You feel like a fake wall there, right here. A fake wall, like halfway there. It creeps up to about four, maybe five pounds. Probably about five or so pounds, and you hit the real wall there. And it's just a soft little click. That's about six pounds, roughly. Let go. Forward, past the fake wall. You got your little fake wall there again. Click. See, you saw the fake wall there actually after. Mm. So what I'm doing is when I'm firing, I'm actually going quickly and just up to that fake wall and then pulling a little bit more. That seems to be how I'm able to get rapid follow-up shots. It's weird. It's hard to describe. It's just nice. Just holding it in your hand, it feels right. It feels really good. It feels very, very controllable. To help with that, they actually give you an extended beaver tail all the way out there. You can see, look how big that boy is there. That really provides a lot of extra recoil control. And as you saw in our initial shooting there, it, it is... It is a significant improvement. You've got just a regular slide lock there, but they did raise up on the polymer on the frame there. They did raise up just a little bit to kind of keep you from accidentally moving up and locking the slide by accident. You've got your rear slide cut serrations here as well to help with gripping. And then up here, we've got a Trigicon RMR, fiber optic and tritium mount up top here. The way this is cut is actually the most unique thing about this firearm. It's very proprietary actually. They actually have a system in place, essentially, where you can fit any red dot pattern, for the most part, on the back of one of their firearms. The way it works is, if you look back here between the rear sight and the actual red dot, you'll see like a sort of like a little spacer there. They give you a couple of different spacers that you can choose from to actually fit in there. Fit all your hollow suns, your Trigicon RMRs, the shield. This was kind of the reason why I went with the shadow systems because it was so flexible with options back here to mount whatever red dot you want. Very nice, very intuitive mounting system. Normally Glocks come with their three white dot sights with two in the rear and one in the front, but obviously they just went ahead and gave you an aftermarket rear sight that's blacked out. Comes with a nice carry bag here with their logo on it. Comes with a bunch of different parts here. Plate adapters here, different little pieces here, different back straps there. The instruction manual actually gives you all the information that you need to actually know which screws to use and which adapter plates and spacers and all that you need to fit your red dot. The bag itself has different places here to put mags in there and a little space here to actually put your firearm and keep it nice and happy and snug. I like it. I like that they actually consider that too as well. A lot of times people don't like to use the Magpul Glock mags because they get stuck in there and they won't come out. But this thing has been smooth as butter, honestly. Very well thought out. The only thing I don't like about this, and maybe I can use some blue Loctite to help with that, is every time I shoot, this mm. thread protector gets a little loose. What I am going to do is after I get done shooting today, I'm going to put a little bit of blue Loctite in there just to kind of keep it in place. And that should prevent the thread protector from popping off. In fact, I'm sure they'll probably tell me to do that too in our manual, I just didn't read the whole thing because- Oh, now. It's not very tactical to, to read manuals. You gotta just oh, gosh. adapt and overcome just like they teach you in the Marines. Gosh, God forbid we read. Of course, with this being a, a special Glock variant, it still has the essential- There's a round chamber. Glock slide rack there.
I want you to look. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think you need to mess with it all that much. I think you're That's good. Five shots. One, two, three, and then two right there. Four, five. Yeah, I think you're fine. I don't think you need much adjustment. I think this might be just right where it needs to be. Yeah, I don't think I'd screw around with it much. <laughs> seems good. That seems so, right with the Lord to me. I guess I better pull out my 29 round <laughs> magazine oh. here. 29 rounds. Let's shoot some steel. I mean, what else can you ask for? It shoots like a charm. It shoots like a dream. It's good stuff. I, I freaking love it. Yeah, I like that. Initial thoughts. The uh, shadow systems MR920, freaking awesome. Right out of the box, shoots great, super accurate. The whole plate adapter system works flawlessly. No issues at all. We didn't clean this thing. We didn't oil it. It came oiled up and everything like that right out of the factory. So very nice, very uh, tactical. I do want to put some blue Loctite on there just to really make sure it doesn't slip off because a little bit of that shooting made the thread protector slowly come back off a little bit. That's the only major, major issue I had with it. I mean, let's be honest. If you're looking for a budget Glock option, this is not it. This is more like a souped up Glock for those that want to start dabbling into the aftermarket realm, but not have to deal with aftermarket reliability issues. If you're looking for something that's a step up from stock Glock parts and it's upgraded in all the places it needs to be, but doesn't break the bank, consider getting this, the combat version of the MR920. Not quite as expensive. MSRP, I think is like 650, something like that. Check around, you'll find maybe better deals than that. This is without a doubt the best Glock I own now, or rather the best Glock variant that I own now. Is it gonna be the last one I own? Definitely not, but if I had to go with one Glock and just one only, I think this would be it. Are you saying one Glock to rule them all, one Glock to find them, one Glock? Guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video today. Remember, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like. Subscribe. Comment down below. Have you picked up a Shadow Systems? I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next time. I still see you. I still see you. I can still, you're not in the shadows yet. They do give you a steel guide rock, guide rock. Uh, guide, it is the steel guide rock. Oh, here pro.